day. My name is Frederick S. Chin, and today I'm going to tell you a story about the bird, the mouse, and the sausage. Once upon a time, there was a bird, a mouse, and a sausage who became companion and decided to build a house to live together. For a long time, everything went well. They all lived great in comfort. Um, each of them has their own task to do with every day. So the bird go into the woods to collect some wood fires for cooking. The mouse was to fetch the water. And the sausage was in charge of the fine cooking. One day, when the bird was out to collect some wood fires into the woods, he met another bird. They talked for a while. But the other bird was saying compliments. At the same time, he was speaking so deceivingly that he said, why are you always doing the hard work and those two only do the little things and they can have their rest after their work and so the bird went home and they had their appetizing meal after the morning arrived influenced by those remarks said by the other bird the bird refused to collect the wood fires into the woods and said to the two that they should have a change in their daily task to do with the sausage was to collect the wood fires into the woods. The bird was to fetch the water and the mouse was in charge of the cooking. So they did their tasks. The bird and the mouse waited for the sausage to return. It made them uneasy. So the bird flew out to meet the sausage in his way. In his way, he saw a dog near a collected wood fires. So he asked the dog, have you seen a sausage collecting some wood fires? But the dog replied, I had him for my meal, for he gave me reasons of agony to bring into conclusion of his life. The bird was sad and angry at the same time, but he can do nothing more of what had happened to his companion. So the bird took the wood fires and flew home. When the bird got home, he told to the mouse what had happened to their companion. And so the bird set the table. The mouse looked after the food to be cooked. The mouse tried to do the same thing as how the sausage cooked their meal. She tried to dip herself into the pot like the sausage does when he cooked the meal. To make it more, he parted not only her skin, her hair, but also with his life. And so, there was no mouse to be found. In the bird's alarm and flurry, he threw the wood fires here, there, everywhere. And so the wood fire was caught by the fire, and the blaze began to burn the house. The bird hastened to fetch some water, but his pail fell into the well, and so with him he drowned.